Amy Robach and TJ Holmes have the day off. I'm Stephanie Ramos. Oh, are they okay? Is it a COVID scare? Hiatus or? GMA is benching TJ and Amy. A mandatory vacation because you banged your coworker. Don't anybody get any ideas? <laughs> now back to these two who didn't even hear they were benched till Monday morning. The ABC News president uh, actually made the announcement on a, a call to all the staffers, calling it an internal and external distraction. But Kim Godwin made it clear again that their affair did not violate company policy. What's weird is on Friday, they said everything was fine, and they were on the air, but they made it weird. They did not make it weird. They sat and they flirted up like, huh, Fridays, I like Fridays, you like Fridays? <laughs> Friday, <then. laughs> we all love our Fridays around here. <laughs> They're really leaning into this thing. Amy was even spotted out this weekend with a TJ Maxx bag. Wait, is she doing a TJ Maxx thing? Wait. TJ, TJ Maxx? TJ Maxx? Oh, no way. Well, she ain't dating someone named Ross. But in their defense, like, what are you supposed to do when the whole world knows that you two are hooking up, not say anything at all? Do you think it's like the fact that people can't ignore it, or do you think now the network is getting nervous that there's more to the story? Well, on Monday's call, Godwin asked staffers to stop the whispering in the hallways but encourage them to go to HR if you think there is something that we need to know. They should leave them on the air. This is ridiculous. They're gonna get rated. How can you tell someone they can't fall in love with someone where they work? Sounds like Neff's got her eye on someone. Let me guess, Jacob's gonna take the same position. Jacob got that fresh line going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, kid. Unless you think it'll get ratings. Enjoy the vacation.